Hi, this is William from New Zealand again. This is my 70 kilowatt monster battery that I've just finished building. Basically, it was the other one that I just extended. I got hold of another battery pack and I've basically just extended it up to, it's just under 70 kilowatt hours. Now, I don't buy power or petrol anymore because I've got an EV car and this runs all the power and it runs my EV car. So I'm hoping to never spend pet a cent on petrol or power again. Um, I think it saves me probably about 300 a month on power and probably 400 a month on petrol. So it saves me about 700 a month. So I guess 12 sevens you could say about 800 per, eight, about probably about eight grand a year. So could probably pay for itself in a couple of years as a DIY if you get older some battery packs and build it. I've got three battery packs here that uh, cost me around six, seven grand a battery pack. Um, the rest of the work together as a DIY. It's actually pretty easy to stack these things up. It's to configure it to 48 volts. I think any DIY could do that with some care taken. Um, but yeah, this I've got a Batrium system as I showed in my previous video that basically works as the BMS to balance the slot. Um, I've got 35 panels on the roof and gosh, I can't drain this battery with using anything. Um, heat pumps or um, any heavy appliances, you, you hardly notice any voltage change. Um, I've had it running for a few days now. We've had some pretty lousy weather, but I tell you what, it's um, it holds right through the night and hardly changes voltage. And I'm quite a heavy user. I think I've got a lot of toys running. And um, yeah, I think it's going to save me heaps. So it's well worth a project for someone to do. I think if you want to do a battery, it's, there's no overkill to a battery. A battery can't be too big because I think it's, it really, it's either big enough to work or small to be inconvenient. Um, bye for now.